How's things, YouTube? I'm back with yet another episode of the, of the Super Six Lane Raceway. That's right. I'm Andrew Goes, but uh, if you want, call me 185 if you like. Or Andrew Goes. Same deal. I've been making these videos for, for a while now. The past few weeks. As you can see, we're starting to get... We're halfway through, actually. A little more. Well, not halfway through, but... Still, I have six rounds of six cars, and I am wondering which of one of these cars will advance to the season finale of the Super Six Lane Raceway. So, I figured, I might as well get started. Oh, oh, before I do, if you want a shout out, you want to see a car in, or in a video, the select list is down below in the description. Okay. Let's go. All the back. Ferrari 288 GTO. Scorcher. 57 Chevy. MR11. Dodge Copperhead. Or Dodge Concept Car. Robo Knight. 55 Chevy Nomad. Representing the Wave Rippers. Torque Screw. Nissan 350Z. Scoopla de Flago. 84 Pontiac Grand Prix. Volkswagen Brasilia, Brasilia, I think that's how you pronounce it, Brasilia. Uh, I forgot this guy's name. Who's, who's this guy? Night Shifter, Night Shifter. Uh, his, his name is right there. Uh, Night Shifter, Nissan 180SX, Type X. High Voltage, Chevy Silverado, 09 or, I think, 2010. Yeah, 2010. Baseline or Bassline, either way you want to pronounce it. 70 Mercury Cougar Eliminator, or that's 70. 69 Mercury Cougar Eliminator, I forgot the year on that one. MST Suzuka, Hyundai Genesis Coupe, Cloak and Dagger, yep, he's making his debut in this one. Pontiac Rages, Toe Jam, Torque Twister, Ford Galaxy. Bug Eye, he's a, an original red line from the, the early, from the late 60s, from when Hot Wheels first started. 71 Dodge Challenger, Fangula, Porsche Panamera Turbo, Speedbox, Dodge Charger Stalker, The Simpsons Family Car, Chevy Corvette Z06, 7th Generation, Reverb, and Bentley Continental Super Sports. So... Well, that's said and done. Let's get started and bring the cars out. We're not, no countdowns. We're just going to get to the action and go. And down. Get, the, get these guys. My money's on the Copperhead. He's the heaviest. But... It can change in the blink of, before the blink of an eye. And speaking before the blink of an eye, we might as well just get racing. The Ferrari 288 GTO advances. He managed to surprise me, actually, despite his weight. It just goes to show, just because you're heavy, doesn't mean you're not the fastest. So, everybody's in place. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. That was Torque Screw. Not bad. He managed to, well, you know. Anyway, he advances. Next slot.
Pretty sure the silver is gonna take it. He appears to be the favorite. He's heavy, but then again, look what happened in the first round. He's also long too. Still, we should brace ourselves like now. The Acceleracers Bass Line, representing Team Tech, who takes the win. It's turning to be a little chaotic so far. All right, let's get these guys. Okay, everybody's in place. Let's go. MST Suzuka takes the win. He just the Mercury had the lead, but the MST took it all. So far, with the exception of the Ferrari, it's all fantasy cars so far. Will another fantasy car take the win on this one? Only time will tell. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, everybody's in place. Let's go. Hot Wheels original Red Lines Bug Eye is the winner. Ferrari's gonna have quite a fight on his hands. There's no doubt. Don't roll away. Looks like they're gonna roll off the stool. Okay. So, we have six cars, only one winner. Who will it be? Speedbox is that winner, and he moves on to the final of this episode. They put him, clean this mess up, and we'll move on. So, out of all the, the round winners of this episode, only one real car made it. The question is who? Who will it be? Will it be the Ferrari, the Acceleracer, Redline, Speedbox, or one of these two Easter themed cars? Matter of fact, I don't know if you realize, but. 
both Torxcrew and MST Suzuka are from the same Easter 5-pack. Yes, that's right. You got two cars from the same 5-pack. So there's twice the chance that one of those, that that pack might have a car that will advance to the finale. But, we might as well get ready. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Nope, nope. Scratch, scratch. MST Suzuka didn't start. I want to see what. Yeah, there's something wrong. Hold on. He won't. Oh. So unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to have to have him try a different line. I'll have to put MST Suzuka in another lane. His he got stuck. And, and baseline speed box are white, as well as the Ferrari. So I'm gonna have Bug I take MST's lane. Makes it easier to know who's who. So anyway, MST Suzuka's too wide. He couldn't get free, so. We're going to try this again. This one's for the marbles. Here we go. It leveraged. It looked like. Whoops. It was a road close match. But the Ferrari 288 GTO. Denies all the fantasy cars. The chance to move on to the finale. And that is. How the stallion, prancing horse does it. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know the finale, but MST got stuck. And it's not just not fair, but anyway, I hope you understand things like that happen. And it's likely going to happen again, but still, they might as well savor the moment because the Ferrari pulled out all the stops. Well, anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, the select list to the list link is in the description for this track. I hope you guys enjoyed. Also, please subscribe to the channel and get notifications. Until then, guys, peace out, and I'm signing out. Have fun.